China's new mega bridges shocked American scientists. American culture favors gigantic items and massive buildings are commonplace there. The country is proud of its multiple outstanding bridges, including the renowned Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, California. But its rival, China, has amazed the audience with much more massive and gigantic projects. So what are these structures? Why is China so proud of them? Stay tuned to find out. In this video, we present you with impressive Chinese bridges, the engineering of which has appalled American specialists completely. From the impressive Dangyang Cushion Grand Bridge in China, which has broken all building records, to the world's first underwater bridge. What are the architectural techniques and technologies used in these structures? Let's find out. The bridges are a powerful representation of Chinese heritage and a doorway to the talent and intelligence of the age. The advancement in bridges is astounding. From the world's first bridge, Arcadico Bridge made from stone with a length and height of some meters, to the suspension over seas and underwater bridges that travel kilometers. In 1992, there were only seven bridges in China. At the end of 2012, there were 73 of them, with eight of them seeing their first openings. China holds the record for 17 out of the 35 longest bridges. Today, China is considered the world's top bridge builder. Let's see the mega projects of China one by one. Number 5. Hangzhou Bay Bridge With a length of 36 kilometers, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge is the longest cross-sea bridge in the world. Construction on the Hangzhou Bay Bridge began on November 14, 2003 and was completed on June 26, 2007. It was put into service on May 1, 2008. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge, which has an S shape, is a crucial link on China's East Coast Superhighway. The bridge travels from Jiangxing in the north to Zixi County in Ningbo in the south. It reduces the distance by 120 kilometers and the travel time from Ningbo to Shanghai from 4 hours to 2.5 hours. The 6-lane, two-direction highway has a speed limit of 100 kilometers. The bridge's cable-stayed construction has a 100-year service guarantee. The ridge's construction was tough because it was done in the world's most challenging marine environment, which included one of the three highest tides on Earth, typhoon effects and problematic sea soil. The concept was only finalized after nine years of discussions, more than 120 technical studies, and input from more than 700 international specialists. In the end, a cable state bridge design was selected as a solution. As of 2022, the total cost invested in the bridge has been recovered, and the bridge is still standing high against all waves. Number 4. Donghai Bridge the Great Bridge East China Sea is another name for the Donghai Bridge. The 32.5 kilometer long bridge was inaugurated in 2008. Donghai was the longest sea bridge in the world when it was built, and it continues to be so today as the longest bridge in Asia. The bridge was constructed to link Shanghai to Yanshan, an island port city that serves as China's principal commerce and transportational hub. Donghai serves as a drawbridge that opens for large ships to pass. Interestingly, there are multiple different arcs built within the bridge, the longest of which is 420 meters long. The Donghai Bridge is a 20-mile long six-lane bridge that cost $1.2 billion. It is fashioned into an S-shape due to safety concerns. With a speed limit of 80 kilometers, the bridge receives a 100-year service warranty. With no land support and frequent violent typhoons, monsoons, waves, and swells, with a maximum wave height of 13 meters and a maximum tidal height of 6 meters. Building the East China Sea Bridge was difficult. Construction involved the utilization of about 9,000 foundation piles of various kinds. The largest pile measures 110 meters in length, which is the same as a 2.5 meter diameter, 40-story structure, although the construction company First Navigation Bureau faced challenges in the first year of making, the bridge was completed within three years, 180 days before the due date. For tremendous work, the company was awarded the Elite of Port and Bridge Construction. Number 3. Danyang Kunshin Grand Bridge 
With an estimated project cost of $8.5 billion, the Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is unquestionably a masterpiece of contemporary bridge construction. Its length of 164.8 kilometers, more than 100 miles, has raised the bar for bridge construction. The Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway, which connects the Chinese cities of Shanghai and Nanjing, includes the Danyang Kunshan Bridge, which has greatly shortened the travel time between these crowded areas. The Danyang Kunshan Grand Bridge is a viaduct as well as a girder bridge. This indicates that shorter material spans rather than longer ones were used in its construction. Because a significant stretch of the bridge crosses a river valley, the viaduct design was chosen. Regardless of the landscape they cover, viaducts are a good way to keep a bridge level over extended distances. With a workforce of 10,000 laborers, the building was built to survive 100 years and withstand magnitude 8 earthquakes, typhoons, and a direct impact from a 300,000-ton Navy ship. According to official statistics, the bridge covers Yangcheng Lake for about 5.6 miles and is supported above the lake by 2,000 pillars and 450,000 tons of steel cables, while the rest of the bridge is supported by 9,500 concrete pillings. The Langfang Kingzian Viaduct, a portion of the bridge, is 114 kilometers long, making it the second longest bridge in the world. Though the bridge lost its official title as the world's longest bridge to the Hong Kong Zuai Macau Bridge, it's still a marvel. Number 2. Hong Kong Zuai Macau Bridge Talking about mega projects, the Hong Kong Zuai Macau Bridge is itself a wonder. A 55-kilometer bridge connecting Hong Kong to Zuai in China and Macau, along with 11 other cities, has been completed by China after eight years of construction. This bridge includes six kilometers of the submarine tube submerged 40 meters below the seabed. It crosses the Linden Yang Waterway, which connects Macau, Zuai, and Hong Kong, three important cities on the Pearl River Delta. A cost of $20 billion was assigned for the project. The building was finished on November 14, 2017, and it was made public in 2018. With a lifespan of 120 years, the bridge can withstand a magnitude 8 earthquake, a level 16 typhoon, and a 300,000-ton impact. The infrastructure can resist gusts of up to 340 kilometers per hour thanks to the use of special construction materials and methods. In recognition of the local white dolphin species, the towers supporting the bridge are designed to resemble dolphins. To safeguard the marine environment from spills and leaks, the structure is built from reinforced columns on marine board piles. To overcome the difficulties, the balanced cantilever method was used to build a dual three-lane runway that is supported by by the bridge. The Hong Kong Zuai Macau Bridge's main goals were to reduce the time, distance, and money spent on traveling and to enhance relations trade between the cities. It's not wrong to say that the bridge has achieved its goal. Number 1. Ling Ding Yang Bridge The Ling Ding Yang Bridge, one of the 10 longest suspension bridges in the world, spans the Pearl River Delta 33 kilometers north of the Hong Kong Zuai Macau Bridge as part of the massive Shenzhen Zongzhen Bridge and Tunnel Project. With a steel box deck that rises 90 meters above the water, the massive Linding Yang Suspension Bridge has one of the highest ocean-level port crossings in the entire world. The 270-meter tall towers that support the eight-lane highway are also one of the biggest long-span suspension bridges in the world at 41.2 meters. The construction is intended to last more than 100 years. It has the maximum navigable clearance across waterways with the largest spanning of any steel box girder suspension bridge in the entire globe. After the completion of the bridge, the Greater Bay Area, which includes the special administrative areas of Hong Kong and Macau, as well as nine cities in the Guangdong province of southern China, includes the capital. Guangzhou and Shenzhen will have better transit once the link is finished. The travel time would be reduced to 30 minutes. With an estimated cost of 4.83 billion U.S. dollars, the project was started in 2017 and the expected opening of the bridge is 2024. With all these incredible inventions, it is safe to declare that China has surpassed America in terms of construction technology. America may be able to close this gap, but it will be a while before it does. 
This leaves us wondering what China's upcoming projects are. Nothing about the future is certain in light of China's recent announcement of the space shuttle train. Who knows if China will ever be able to build a space bridge? This ends our video for today. What do you think about these mega projects? Tell us in the comments. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel to know more about these interesting projects around the world. See you in the next video.